Hey guys, it's Mac HT Tutorials over here, bringing you bringing you tutorial number three on the YouTube API. Last tutorial we did HTML part and making a button. Now you do need a button to call like basically call the function in JavaScript. So what we're gonna do is make a global function. Now you don't have to do this. It's just normally when I do JavaScript, I usually do this, and we have to end it. I mean, not end it, but close it. There we go. All right, so let's just get started. So first thing first, we're gonna need a client ID. Now I could just name this client ID, but later on I'm gonna use that variable called. So I'm gonna do oath. <laughs> the I just said oath. It means authorize. O authorize client ID and it's going to be equal to this right here now we did this on our second tutorial so if you don't have that you go back don't use the same one I have because the origin is not the same so other than that you got to go to var uh, make another variable called The slopes. Now I'm going to explain what the slopes are in a moment. All right, so I'm gonna type type in slopes, and then basically what the slopes are is it's it's basically what you want to get from the API, and basically it's kind of hard to explain what it are. I mean, what they are. It's just that uh, basically they're sort of like classes. And then they're not. Basically, you, you have to call them in the authorization method. And in, uh, in the API, as you can see, you have to call these. And uh, yeah. So there you go. I'm just going to type them in. So I know one is www. Oh, wasn't typing. www.googleaps.com slash authorize slash YouTube analytics dot read only now on this example I'm gonna be doing I'm not really gonna use the analytics uh, classes I'm just doing it because we are gonna be doing an example later on using that ww cool Now, once again, guys, I'm sorry for this, but just pause the video so you can uh, copy them. And there's one more that we're going to be using. And HTTP. All right, guys. So once we have that, we're good to go, actually. All right, awesome. So after that, we're gonna make a variable called right here, var channel ID. Now the channel ID is something that we're gonna get from the API. Now the channel ID, you kind of need that to get information like how many subscribers he has, the person that's linked, uh, how many views he has, and such and such. So let's get started with authorize. So as you can see in this method, we have to call these parameters or arguments. Yeah, they're arguments, sorry about that. We have to call these arguments because we're not really making this method. And you need a client ID. We made that already, we made the slopes. This is if true. We're going to put it as true. And this one, we're not really going to call because as default, it's already a token. 
to sign to log off or on link you have to destroy the token maybe later on we'll be doing that so what we're going to be doing is window dot uh, gs gs client load it is a class i mean a method and oops sorry about that function so let's make that function and in here we're gonna do g api google api dot authorization in it and then in that we're gonna do a function another function so this kind of gets confusing guys just follow along gotta end that close that and close that one and in this side inside this function we're gonna do window dot set timeout and code is gonna be a new method check authorization I'm gonna set that to one second delay and there we have it I'm just gonna put this a bit closer there we go so let me just explain this real quick so basically what's gonna do it's gonna basically uh, right when JavaScript client loads so right when uh, the page loads it's gonna check this method authorize now we haven't made it yet so let me see how much time we have left all right so um, hopefully I'm gonna get that done by today so function check authorization all right there we go <clears throat> and then after that we got to do g api dot authorization and then we actually going to spell authorization there we go like that and then it's gonna call handle authorization result that looks good now let me just see why I'm getting a uh, an error <clears throat> And that should be right. Sorry about that. <clears throat> all right. So in here is where we're gonna send Google all our information. So we're gonna you're gonna do client ID, and the value we're gonna give it is authorization client ID. Slope is authorization. I believe that's what we named it and the next one is I don't know how to say it though <laughs> sorry about that and I'm gonna name it true so the token is created basically all right so I'm gonna try to explain this real quick so basically it, it's gonna check for authorization so what it's gonna do it's gonna make you a login thing it's gonna send this to Google send all this to Google it's gonna make you a link after it makes you a link it's gonna send you to here authorization result handle authorization result what that method is gonna do that we're gonna create it's gonna get the result of what Google told us if Google said all right you're already connected it's gonna do you're gonna do if authorization result uh, if, if it already has a value you're connected so you're gonna do whatever you want there if it doesn't have a value already what you're gonna do is uh, <clears throat> you, you, you're gonna you, you're gonna make them you, you're gonna make a button appear basically I don't know if you understand what I'm saying but hopefully you do and uh, we're gonna end up doing that in our next tutorial because it's it's about to be like 10 minutes in so in this tutorial we basically learned two things we learned the, the arguments that we need for an authorization 
and basically that's it guys and so we, we learned that the uh, client ID and the, and the scopes so our next tutorial we're basically gonna finish this get a connect button going and uh, yeah see you then guys peace out